All right, hello everybody, and uh, welcome back. So we're gonna keep uh, muddling through here. Uh, we're doing okay. We could be doing better, of course, uh, but I think that things will turn our way very sharply here. See that guy? I don't care for him very much. But luckily, we've got a privateer to help ruin his unopposed fun against us. I think we do. I haven't seen him yet. Oh, uh, okay. And I definitely do not want anyone taking this silver away from me. That is a boatload of money. Literally a boatload of money. Aha, there's our privateer. It's nice that we could just get out that quickly that way. So I'm going to let him attack us, which is bad because he gets a 50% advantage. But it will run a little bit of interference for us here, which is nice. I can't. Oh, yeah, I can. Hmm. So I'm going to farm. Oh, okay, we're already. Okay, okay. I was worried that we weren't actually already producing any. Um, let me have him go to the tobacconist shop here. Where is it at? No, that's not the one. That's not the one. That's not the one, boy. Oh, yeah. The Dumbo. Let's just have him go there for now. Uh, oh, geez, why am I losing seven? Huh. Oh, well, that's not gonna work. Forget it. Jeez, Louise. All right, cool. We'll leave it that way. But I need to get that cigar maker. Toot sweet. Ah! Oh, I accidentally told him to go home, which is not what I wanted to do. Hopefully the, his, uh, he'll be damaged or some crap. Yes, good. Okay, cool. Because that was very helpful. Look at these guys just walking around like they own the place. And in the inconvenient places, too. These guys, a lot of these guys, I took it to look at the foreign affairs. A lot of these guys are at war with each other. Uh, but apparently, I don't think the, the, the Dutch and the English are not at war with each other as far as I uh, saw there. Okay. So we're flush with money here. What do we do? We got Peter Minuet, which means we could start producing weapons. Um, so I'm going to just get my ore miner and get my blacksmith here and toddle off. And we've produced docks here, so when we get that expert fisherman, and we might just buy one, then we'll be in a lot better shape for uh, continuing on. I need that cigar maker too, which I really should have thought about. But at the very least, all that land is ours now. I, I don't have to pay for any more of it. Oh, whoops, I didn't mean to move that way, but I uh, was able to get to uh, something useful. Actually, it wasn't anything useful. Okay. For now, we can at least produce a good amount of food. Which is not really all that helpful, of course. But it's fine. We are going to be swimming in it, though, after we get this... Uh, what's his face back? After we get all this uh, silver back to the new world. Alright, now we got two turns per year. It doesn't really mean much, but it does mean that we don't have a game ending in, like, 1950. Which would be a little weird that the technology didn't change. I mean, the technology changed over this period too, but well, at the very least, you know. Okay, he's got nothing to do. Guess he can get a, another petty criminal, which is pretty lame. Uh, but that's the way this game works. Um, especially on this difficulty, the computer is going to give us exactly what we don't want here. Okay. Oh, we can't build a college or a university yet? Because that's what I was hoping to jump on. I guess our population isn't high enough yet. Because uh, there are actually population gates on like being able to build this or being able to build that. Uh, which is annoying, but it's... Oh, cool. Alright. For that to actually work, though, we have to uh, go back together. And by that, I mean I have to like start a fake town. Um... Uh, but any coastline will work, including the coastline that is on the Pacific Ocean. So 
I think I'm closer to the Pacific. I'm close to the Baja Peninsula, so let's go ahead and do that. So, so far though, so good. I wish the computer would thrash each other a little bit harder here though, because like they might be at war, but they really don't seem to be doing it in a very gentlemanly type fashion. Okay, so there we had a guy learn how to be an expert farmer, and he already is a farmer, beautiful. Okay. Is anybody else uneducated here? No, everybody else is already knows their way around the old wheelhouse. Okay. Was hoping that wouldn't happen. But of course I knew it was gonna happen. That's fine. Let's just have him uh, grow food for now until we become so flush that they tell us, "Aha! This is what I wanted." Oh, oh shoot! I didn't switch the guy who's. God dang it. Well, it's not like it really mattered in that case, though, because we weren't... Wait, who learned how to be a fisher? Oh, Lumberjack learned how to be a fisherman. Excellent. Well, now you're a teacher. And I didn't move him from his sugar growing, which actually doesn't matter that much because we aren't producing enough um, stuff, things. <clears throat> Still not producing enough Liberty Bells. I really need to get an uh, elder statesman instructor going in one of these places, which also means I need to get a university going, which is you know still not in the offing yet. Now let's go give them a taste of their own frickin' medicine, jerks. I'm like, what are you guys doing? God dang it. All right, cool. So we could just start our town right here. Look. I started a town, and we could just disband it the next turn. I actually had this happen one time, where I started a town, and then the next turn, it got attacked immediately. So this is really good. This is a, this is a good amount of money that we need. And we can actually disband this town right here and now. With no loss anything. And that's kind of cheap, uh, but if you expect me to feel bad about it, believe me, I don't. The computer is cheating enough, as it is with their production bonuses and all that kind of cockamamie stylings okay it's not a fair fight they're not smarter they're just jerkier anyway i'm gonna get out of this guy's waters before i get my lousy privateer blowed up i was gonna go have a little fun but uh it's not uh apparently not fun time actually you know i'm gonna take this criminal and have him go up north where are we at isabella yeah Wow, only three squares were actually working in the town. Whoa, look at this stuff. Let me let me, let me fix this up a bit. Let me clean this up a little ways. Actually, no, I can't really make it better. I need more normal colonists. Hey, where's my blacksmith? Wow, that was weird. I think he's in my other ship. Thanks a lot, dude. Frickin' English buggers, you, you sneaky peats. Ah, oh, cheese Louise, really? Fine, go up to Havana. Now that's some bad luck. Well, it's not bad luck. I'm sure that it was easily avoidable with paying a little bit more attention. But I didn't, so, so that's the way it is. At least you got off that road. But yeah, I'll be. I'm gonna be very flush with cash. I almost feel like I should get a frigate. Um, but I'm not gonna do it currently, not yet. All right, I'm gonna have this criminal. Okay, you could go be a teacher again. And you can be a farmer, even though you're a criminal. Well, I mean, probably. I mean, they're petty criminals, you know. I mean, well, it is true the criminals did come to the. Uh, U.S. and Australia and all that, like, at least for the, uh, petty criminals, or for, like, Georgia, for example, started out as a penal colony for, uh, debtors. I saw it back when they used to have debtors prison, like, you got into debt and you couldn't pay it, they threw you in the clink, uh, which, of course, that doesn't happen anymore. I've heard people talk about that in glowing terms, like, oh, yeah, I should have debtors prisons. But should people pay their debts then? No, because then you wouldn't have debtors prisons but uh yeah anyway I don't think it's a very good idea but maybe I'm just a namby pamby but generally 
You know, a lot of people figure the harsher the punishment, the more effective it is, and it really, really experience doesn't bear that out. Examples don't bear that out. Because there's all kinds of countries that are completely crime-ridden despite their harsh and nasty laws. Like, Russia has some pretty harsh laws, uh, and people break the law all the time because they don't respect the law. It's not about, like, am I scared of getting punished? The thing is, like, you just don't respect the law. It's not well enforced, for one, because really harsh laws are hard to, pretty hard to uh, enforce with any kind of regularity. There we go. Ooh, under muskets, hard tools, nice. Although I, maybe I should have taken the trade goods. But that's certainly something I could trade with my boys. Cool. Hello, fur trappers. That could be helpful back down south, will it? This guy probably could get attacked anyway, just for no reason. Uh, if I could make him a tobacco planter, that'd be great. I mean, it'll be back in like 50 turns, but the way, as long as this game is, that's kind of how it works. Oh, I hope I don't get, I'm probably going to get bombed by that privateer out there. I have to give up my ill-gotten booty. No, I won't. Wow, their turn is done. You can see a little color at the bottom right of the screen, which tells you whose turn it is. And apparently I will be able to make off with my ill-gotten wares, so I appreciate that. Appreciate the lack of justice, boys. So, yeah. But, uh, yeah, privateering can be very useful because uh, a lot of times they do have pretty useful stuff on board. A lot of times they do, sometimes they don't. Um, but uh, it's pretty good. We need a tobacconist more than anything. That's that's number one priority. Okay, and we probably want to check on that southern. God dang it! Yeah, I don't remember where they got tobacco planters at either. I bet up there. I'm gonna go up there to freaking Seattle. Although I know Seattle is not actually appropriate uh, climate for t uh, tobacco planting. It's more like Virginia or that, but uh, Virginia. Um, did we make the docks? We did make the docks. That's cool. Uh, but we do have enough food here to start. Don't we? Eh, okay, minus one. Okay, we need more dudes. Okay, we need... I get it. I get it, I get it, I get it. We also need to start building some um, universities because we we need to uh, get a hold of uh, some cool uh, cool stuff. Uh, I need to be training those cool skills. Okay, there we go. There's our fisher man. I have to wait till I get another colonist because I don't want to clear him out. I'm I'm gonna get an elder statesman to replace him. I think that's uh, the proper thing to do. Yeah, hi. See you later. It would be nice to watch you two wail on each other, but uh, you can actually ask them to attack the, uh, the other side. And occasionally they will. Although it's not always clear how much good it'll actually do. All right, so yeah. Maybe I could save this guy a trip, although I think it's going to be just as quick because of the difficulty of the terrain will block him from getting up north. Man. Well, I've been, pre I've been pretty freaking lucky as far as it comes to uh, finding treasure and such. Treasure, as it's called in some parts of the world. God. Yeah, those Englishmen. They're relentless. Okay, unload, unload. And yeah, I'm okay with crashing that price. All right, so the first thing we need is, not that, first thing we need is one elder statesman, okay? And then the other thing we need is a, uh, a tobacconist. And that'll be good. Love it. Education. All you have to do is have a dream. 
I guess, or something. And also, you have to build one of these. Are there enough people here to build a college? I do. Well, screw the newspaper for now. Because I've got to get on this uh, business here. I need some carpenters, too. You can train a carpenter at your... Uh, at, all you need is a schoolhouse. That's enough. You don't need anything higher than that. That's cool. Go check. How's my silver colony doing? Great. Let's get down there. Grab that silver. Down at the True Cross. You know, I'm pretty. I'm pretty happy with how all that's turned out. I feel like selling those guns, but I'm not gonna. Cause I feel like we'll be happy we had them later. Maybe. I'm not gonna sell them to the natives. Don't worry about that. That's not really something you want to do. Wow, I sunk him. But I only got 42 uh, furs, so it wasn't particularly a lucrative haul. All right, cool. And let's get some ore. And then we can get a blacksmith. Uh, yeah, all right, cool. Well, we, we got a blacksmith, but uh, I very foolishly um, sent him to the wrong place. You train cigar making, my friends? No, you sure don't. Not cigar making, but tobacco plant. All right, you know what? You just you just saunter back, dude. I have no idea what to tell you. I wish they had the explore button like uh, the new version did, where you just kind of explore and it would get you the goody huts and whatever. You know what I mean? That's pretty cool. Wow, it looks like the Incas are getting a little mad at me. These guys are still smiling at me, even though they've attacked me umpteen times. For no good reason, I might add. Uh, because I haven't really done anything to him other than be in close proximity, which, you know, I imagine that's probably enough. Oh, why in my way? Uh, okay. Well, anyway. All right. Yeah, I need to send him up as well. So everybody's going uptown. Probably could use a guy armed with needles, not armed with needles, armed with tools to uh, be able to uh, more easily get between those two colonies. Cool. But, yeah, you know, these guys are sometimes, they, they're useful, but I mean, it's nice to get a free colonist, but this far up, it's a ways off. It's a ways from anything. And it can just be kind of a pain. Oh, look at you, huh? I feel like I should attack that town to destroy your stupid privateer. But I'm not going to do it. So I can get here in one turn as I... Yeah. And after you get Magellan, you get one extra movement point. But it's, you know, like I said, it's not necessary because... <coughs> Alright, cool. So we can make him a colonist. <coughs> yeah. Alright, good. Very good, very, very, very good. And then this guy's just hanging out, ruining my road, ruining my transportation network. Thank you very much, jerk. Yeah, and when you got like one third or two third moves left, it's just kind of the game decides whether you get to move it or not. It's kind of, you know, gamer's choice. By And by gamer's choice, I mean CPU's choice. Um, so yeah, let's just... Well, we'll have to see. There's nothing in his boat. You can see if he's carrying anything. And if he's not carrying anything, it's really not worth it to attack. Especially because Galleon has higher uh, attack power than you do as a privateer. What's up with all these fur traps? There's not even any trees around you, dude. How are you trapping fur? That's what I want to know. I suppose you won't tell me. Hey, at least you're not blocking that road anymore. Which is, you know, more or less kind of sweet of him to uh, take into consideration. Okay. The hell is this guy anyway? Master Sugar Point. Okay, he was the guy I made. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Let's get uh, we need some carpenters for Pete's sake. We need the carpenters, uh, to sing us some sappy love songs, uh, to make us feel better about our lack of carpenters. Maybe, maybe that's the strategy we want to go for. Anyway, you can see the Incans are starting to get a little, 
uh, annoyed with us uh, for no real reason. But ah, oh, it's because the English got colony, uh, got uh, uh, what's his face is there. They got missionaries there. Okay, since so we'll put together a warehouse, it's very nice. A printing press, so I can maybe ease off a little bit on the old. I can ease off on the uh, whatever's the drugs that I'm taking. Anyway, you know, so I can ease off on the um, statesman there. You know, it's better to have one elder statesman than a couple of regular dudes. But uh, for now, we're doing pretty well. But I'm, I'm going to build that college, and then I'm going to build that uh, whatever else needs to be built. I'm just going to keep them there. The other good thing about the privateers, they have eight movement points, which is quite outstanding, really. All right, just go back, dude. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, all right, there's our master fisherman. So we will take him all the way down to Havana. Yeah. Cause he's gonna he's gonna blow up. I mean he's gonna take this food problem and just solve it. I feel like I need a. I don't want to buy a frigate, but a frigate is a good solution because frigates have double the attack power. Although this game's like uh, mathematics are iffy in battle, like like as in my caravel somehow damaged uh, and defeated their uh, dude there. Like that probably shouldn't happen. Uh, their uh, privateer that probably shouldn't have happened, but it did which is nice for me uh, Pretty terrible for them though, really And we'll just hang around Isabella there I only have oh no, I have two coastal. I have three coastal colonies, but only the other one's not a serious colony. Oh look at this Um, I do not have the uh, necessary uh, freedom spirit yet yeah, there But that's okay. We'll get it eventually is there. There should be something Oh, it made me walk all the way down the blah blah bla, the Blaha Peninsula without providing me a uh, A secret huh fine Are they green again? No. Oh now they're starting to get really hot under the collar. That's okay. They'll be happy when I trade with them. I think. They should be. They should get happy. Yeah, silver's crashing. That's fine. As long as I'm the one crashing, I'm happy. And I'm partially the one crashing. Okay, how much money do we got in the bank right now? I got a lot. Okay, we got the tobacconist. We got that guy. We need a gunsmith, that's for sure. And another freaking... We got the money, why not Why not use it, right? Okay, so we got him. Um, let's see, something else another one of my towns could use. Ah. Maybe another f fisherman. Fishermen are expensive though, I really don't wanna buy them. Okay, let's just bring some horses in. Let's start like, start this horse breeding thing in earnest because that's basically how you heal your units you get hit once turn back into a soldier and you get hit twice turn to a colonist if you're a dragoon dragoons um like there's no advantage to being a soldier over a dragoon like uh, yeah i mean it, not even just like it says there's an advantage type thing like there is no advantage in this game oh i probably should have got that carpenter too well i didn't okay so i i failed everyone Huh? Uh, I'll make some tools. And you can go pound the sand. Uh, and by that, I mean you can go farm. Probably going to eventually need to get some expert farmers out there and also a guy with a... Uh, you need to get a pioneer out there as well. You can just hang out and do whatever. I don't care. But you need to get educated, and if you sit around long enough, you'll become not a criminal. You'll forget your criminality, and you'll be down the road to uh, uh, 
a real career in the field of expert farming. Which actually, you know, back in the old days, farming was was a heck of a career. It was one of the better careers. I mean, as long as you owned your own land. I mean, if you were a tenant farming, no, then that was that was not good. That was not considered to be a good uh, way of doing it because you could get put into debt peonage. Aha! English skin attack by the French. Good. Give him hell. Um, fine. I know I'm way too pliant. Don't attack me, please. Because that would be rude. Very rude. I know I'm not doing anything with that privateer. He's a pirate for defensive purposes only. I mean, kind of, because, like, I don't want to buy a frigate. Frigate's like 5,000 bucks. That's a. Oh, come on! Fine. What a jerk. Uh, yeah, we'll hand him more because we could get attacked if we don't. But I think that's the thing I need to trade with him. I can't remember if I traded tobacco first or tools first. Jeez, what the hell, guys? But I knew they were going to do that. I mean, it was pretty obvious. Wow, silver's really crashing. Cloth ain't. There we go. Now that's, that's a good turn of events there. Uh, okay. So you'll become a colonist and go down south. And nobody will cut wood for a while because we've got too much wood anyway. Uh, okay. Alright, do you want to trade for freaking tools? Oh no, okay, cool. Now you happy, jerks? After you stole my, uh, whatever from me? After you stole my, uh, alright. Well, we need to go do something about this guy. Don't we have a stable? Man, we suck at this game. Okay, fine. We didn't have a rum distillery, so it's not like I could uh, expect a... Okay, and we do need a wagon train here eventually, too. So we're all kinds of, like, dumb. Okay, so we'll put them there for now, and then we will go defensively use our pirates. Oh, this is the worst crap possible. Are you kidding me? I hated how he comes from here. Anyway, I don't think he could see me. Well, let's let these guys out just in case. There we go. You can get back in me. <laughs> yeah, it stinks having to sneak around with all these darn privateers everywhere. I mean, I think it's only one. And I know he's from England because he's coming out of that stupid port. I don't know why he's using all this attention on my least important colony there. And it's going to become even less important. Uh, because it's going to become less important uh, because the price of of uh, silver is going down the tubes pretty powerfully there. Uh, guess we'll just get back to Seville. Thank God we can get out of there in one turn though. Uh, we do need some more. Alright, go get him, Tex. It even says he's an English privateer, though. That's the funny part. Is it's like, I won't tell you what country he's from, he's got the pirate flag, but then it identifies itself as an English privateer. So, we obviously know where they're doing things from. Okay. Now we're looking a lot better from a food point of view, and we can start making some cloth, which cloth is pretty darn pricey right now uh, which is a good deal it's gonna we're gonna be shooting out a lot more of it in a minute here all right get in you too uh, we'll take you up to Havana but actually both of you are on the way to not Havana okay anyway that's probably enough for this part thanks for watching bye bye